At Faith School, we really value the arts and we recognize that starting at a very young age has really great long-term benefits. In terms of visual art, the children are starting as early as pre-K and we combine art and science here at Faith School because really it's about the children looking about their world and responding to that world and a lot of that response is in the form of art because they can't write yet. So they're really expressing themselves through painting and watercolor and clay. Later on in first and second grade the art and science classes are split and again they work with various medium, they're exposed to various styles of art. Once students reach the lower school coming up from primary uh, a lot of our curriculum focuses on rudimentary skill development, elementary building of basic skills including materials, exposure to different media. Uh, we begin a lot of critical thinking. We explore uh, the art history timeline and starting in third grade a lot of that skill will then translate into directly to what we do in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade as each class builds upon the year's previous knowledge. We add multi-step directions. The projects become more complex. When students reach upper school, we really look at the development of an understanding of the elements of design, especially in seventh grade. We explore a diverse range of media. We expose them to lots of different artists, lots of different art making techniques. This then prepares them for our electives where they go on and explore very specific media for two terms. We offer everything from ceramics, painting, to printmaking, two-dimensional. It's a very rich program. The eighth and ninth grade programs become much more focused on the principles of design. So applying creative thought to successful pieces, looking at composition, what makes a piece more interesting than the other. Uh, and this is designed a lot after what they would experience in high school uh, as a, an entry foundations course. So in the lower school, uh, we have drama classes from 4th, 5th, and 6th grade. And these classes work on basic techniques. How do we tell stories with our bodies? How do we tell stories with our voices? In what ways do actors do things differently than, you know, maybe a storyteller? What ways do, we, do actors do things differently with stories than you would in an English class? This culminates in a 6th grade play and performance. 4th and 5th grade also have performances, however they're not plays. They're scene work. We learn on the basics of putting it all together. Upper school has the opportunity to take part in the winter drama and the winter drama is um, an athletic sport in the winter and we meet from 3 to 4.30 every day of the week. Uh, we work on kind of solidifying technique, we work on what it means to be an actor and how do we take that seriously, what's the discipline of drama and then we put together a play. Um, students are involved in all aspects of making the play. They do the scenery, they, you know, they, they're responsible for stage crew, they're responsible for publicity. So it's kind of a, an all-encompassing event. Watching kids change is my favorite part of what I do. Oftentimes, what we do in drama and what we ask children and students to do is tremendously difficult. It's making them step out of their comfort zone. It's making them say these crazy tongue twisters. It's making them do things with their body that they didn't think were possible. Um, and so I love seeing that change from the beginning where they're a little bit hesitant to kind of jump into it and then the end where they own it. And I love that moment after you've seen a child or on stage and there's something in their eyes where they get it. Um, and they get either what it means to be a part of an ensemble, they get what it means to you know really express themselves in that role, or they get what it means to feel the love of being on stage. Um, and you can definitely see the difference from beginning to end. One of the time-honored traditions at Fay is the annual spring musical. And a long time ago it started when it was an all-boys school performing Gilbert and Sullivan operettas. And we honored that last year in our production of Pirates of Penzance. In the past we've also had productions of Annie, Once on this Island, Once Upon a Mattress, Susicle, Oklahoma, Beauty and the Beast, and this year we will be performing Bye Bye Birdie. The musical is open to students that are in 7th, 8th, and 9th grade. The nice thing about the musical is that it takes place after athletics is over and so anyone can audition and participate in the musical and it's nice to see people who might not normally do this come out of the woodwork to perform in this production. 
We offer dance and drama as an intramural sport in the winter, and then in the spring, there's a chance to put dance, drama, and music all together in the spring musical. In music, we start the children very young, and we do something called the Kodai concept of music education. And in that concept, it's a play-based program where children, again, they're exposed to the world of sound, and they explore the world of sound, and we hope that they do it in a way that's a lot of fun. We then take all of the elements and extract ways to read patterns of rhythm and pitch, and we start the children reading music actually in first grade. And as they progress through the lower school, that continues in third and fourth grade, we add the recorder as an instrument. In fifth and sixth grade, they can choose to be in a band, chorus, or a string ensemble. And then in the upper school, we have various levels for those students, whether it be an intermediate band, advanced band, jazz band, or string ensemble. Then the students are adequately challenged at their own level, particularly for new international students who come in who may have played an instrument for many, many years. We have an appropriate place for them. The music program at Fay is a global music program. What's great about this program is that we have students that are from this country and from abroad, so I'm learning as much from them as they are from me. We have private lessons here for students who are looking to take lessons in any instrument, brass, woodwinds, strings, piano, voice. We have a piano lab and a Mac lab here that is for students who are looking to continue their piano skills or who are interested in recording or working with um, programs for recording. So garage band, audacity, things like that. You know, the goal of the program is to expose students to all forms of dance and at the same time build this physicality and coordination with their own bodies. In the dance club, it's designed for the upper schools, so we have 7th, 8th, and 9th grade participants. You can come in as a cold beginner who's never taken a dance class before. And you can be an intermediate advanced dancer and still get a satisfying workout experience. Each practice starts with a class, and the class is a combination of modern technique and ballet dance steps. We play a whole medley of different types of music, so we do a nice 45 minute to an hour workout class, and then the remaining part of the activity, while we work on choreography, the students pick out musical pieces that they're interested in and vote on them, and then all of the students together choreograph each one of the pieces. I think it's really important that dancers understand that it is a physical sport to music and drama and the physical part is uh, very important so we work on conditioning uh, during the dance warm-up part of the class. It's amazing to see the growth both personally and physically that these girls make. Now that they've had this experience they feel more confident stretching other boundaries too, perhaps music or instruments, because they've taken this challenge on.